It was Future and I'm on the set of the Double XL photo shoot, 20th anniversary. Artists in the last 20 years, there's so many I just had to go with a record company like No Limit, Rough Riders, Cash Money, Rockefeller, Bad Boy, who else? so many. But if I had to name one right now, if I could, as I'm thinking, those would be the ones. I feel like I'm a trendsetter. That's my role. That's just me, that's just my personality. You know what I mean? Just uh, setting a trend over just want to be different and just creating. Previously, I already happened with different other artists, but just taking what they've done and just creating it in my own way and giving them my own twist to it. And, uh, just being inspired by so many artists, but at the same time, uh, going a different direction as far as my work ethic and how I drop music, how I put it out, and the timing of it, everything. Double XL is just a part of the hip hop culture, period. So it's just like, when you speak of hip hop, you gotta speak of Double XL. Yeah, I think anytime you get a chance to promote yourself and promote anything that you have going on doing music, and it's a time to brand yourself and market. So it's a good thing to be on the cover, whether, whether it's digital or physical. It just reminds you of how far you come, how far I've came, and it just always gives you that moment of clarity of, uh, of just your hard work paying off and you can be able to see it right before your eyes. It probably just made up an amplifier. There's just so many things moving and so many different artists. It's just so, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I feel like the respect is always gonna be there. It's like you can't get past it. I believe uh, and just hip hop just became popular over time. And, just, and as it get popular, people from endorsements just try new things and just try different ways to brand their products or whatever it is. So just giving hip hop artists a, a endorsement deals or just different deals that wasn't around early on, I think it's just good because of just popularity and just the streaming and just hip hop, one of the biggest. It compete with R&B, it compete with rock, it compete with just pop. So and just be able to get those same certain deals, it's, just, it's a good time. It can get big as, as the people allow it, you know what I mean? The fans, that's, that's, that's gonna be the focal point of just how far I can get, but it's just, uh, see, everyone can relate, you know what I'm saying? It's just so like, how many people can relate to hip hop or just be able to take it and listen to it with a different ear. And, um, but I think it's gonna grow even more throughout time because it's more of a younger generation and everything for us, uh, online presence and the internet is so big right now, all the kids is taking over. So it's like, if you're in a certain age group, you don't really use the internet as much as a kid. So it just seems more, as it's getting more recognition because kids are downloading music more and they got phones, it's just like, they got access to the music. The good is, uh, now I'd be able, I could take care of my family you know, hip hop and just be able to create and just do something that I love to do and probably the, uh, just the bad, I don't know, just not spending as much time with my kids. Um, you can't let it get to you. You gotta be bigger than fame. You gotta be bigger than the, bigger than the work. Um, just continue to work and just be consistent. You know what I'm saying? Consistency, I feel like is the key to everything. Happy 20th anniversary, Double XL from Future Hendrix. Love.